Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question. Um, the question in question is, Frederick, what is going to be the most popular and lucrative JavaScript library to learn in 2019? So let's get into it. Well, this, uh, this is the sort of question where I, I will answer it, but it's, uh, I don't like the spirit of the question. I'm sorry, I just don't. I don't like people, the, this sort of thing, because it, if this question is asked for the reason I think it's asked, it's what, you're, you're one of those people who, you, you think that you're going to make money from the mindset of doing the bare, like just doing some, the bare minimum. That's what I think at least. It might be something different, but I just warn you immediately. If you think that you're going to learn some little library that everybody is hyped about, and then you learn some basic code, and then you're going to go off, go into IT and make the big bucks, you can forget about it. The people who make the biggest amount, like the large sums of money in IT, invest a lot more time and effort than what it's what I believe you're suggesting that you're actually going to invest. And it's just, I, I trust me, I, can, I will give you the answer. I will just say, but I will say that uh, unless you really know what you're doing, you're not going to make that much money. There are plenty of occupations out there where it's easier to make more money than it is to make money as a software developer. But let's actually get to the, to the question in question. So the ecosystem as it stands today is high, has the hierarchy which follows React, Angular, and view in terms of JavaScript, like like the most stable JavaScript libraries slash frameworks out on the market. Now, if we're saying that we're, if we're talking about like lucrative things in terms of all right, there are a lot of job opportunities, then React will probably be the best bet as it's still going very very strong and a. I don't see that changing anytime soon. As long as SBAs are around, I think that React will be the strongest contender. It has the, it is still the most beloved JavaScript library that we have at this point in terms of SBAs and so forth. And it's also because of SBAs, it's actually one, I mean, they're used for most projects, which means that the job availability is actually quite high. Angular is up there as well. So these two are fairly, fairly intertwined in terms of popularity, like they're fairly equal in terms of relevancy in the workspace. But React has a higher popular, like a, the popular opinion about React is higher than Angular. Angular is, is, as of last year, still one of the most disliked libraries, which is kind of, it's an interesting paradox, which I think is kind of, it kind of proves another point I had a while back where, you know, people hate on Java, but it's still the most, the second most popular programming language in the world. And that's the distinction some people don't understand where, right, something can be super, super, well, disliked on the internet, but it can still be very relevant in for work purposes, which is Java. Same thing goes for Angular. It can be extremely disliked just in general in the IT community, but it's still extremely common in the workplace. And you can flip that and say the same is actually true for really hyped languages like Go, where the language is super popular in the community and people love it, but very few companies actually use it. So in, in that sense of it being a lucrative and popular library, I would say that React is the better choice here. Quite a lot of people are actually, even people are migrating from Angular to React or just picking React off the bat. And if we are talking about things that will just make you a lot of money, if we, if we just flip this and say, all right, so it's not just about, well, having job security, because that's probably React, that's the thing that React is going to give you, well, the most relevancy at least. But the other side of things would be to have, all right, you're going to make the most amount of money from actually doing this. I would say that the only people in front end, at least, who stand a chance to make more, like just more money from some specific tool or knowing something is not the sort of person who will learn that in 2019. It's likely more veteran profiles who have an understanding of <clears throat> the old ways of working, like say that they are masters of jQuery or even prototype JS or something like that, and they go in as consultants towards 
really, really old organizations who are struggling to find anybody who has knowledge or any, even an interest in working in a very old legacy system. Those, uh, you know, the, the veterans out there, it doesn't matter if you're a front-end veteran or whichever veteran, they usually can make quite a lot of money from selling their services to companies who are quite a lot behind on the technolo uh, technological, well, well on, the, on the graph. Like if they're behind this curve, they will pay more money most likely because, I mean, they have probably not migrated simply because it's too costly for them or they perceive it to be cost too costly at that moment in time. To do a migration, and that's one of the the sucky parts of being in IT as a com as a business because you you make money, you make money, you make money, and all of a sudden you're out of date and you say, seem to slow down. And your company can't move as fast as it used to, and then you realize that shit. You actually need to maintain your technological relevancy because if you don't, uh, you pretty much get so far behind that it becomes very costly for you to catch up and then the business can do two, one of two things. Either you can like just buckle down and say we're going to ride this thing to the ground or you start a migration or some type of rewrite which also which is of course extremely costly. But that's pretty much it. Uh, future wise there are a few libraries that you could look into but I still am a little bit uncomfortable with sharing those things uh, because it it's still a bit early. So I will state that if you're just looking to get like a high salary because you know some special library, looking into the old school of working and being a front-end developer that has skills that span like 10, at least 10 years back, well, roughly 10 years back in, into the past and marketing yourself towards companies who are behind the tech, tech curve would probably be the best investment because today, it's hard for you to earn like significantly more from specialist knowledge within front-end because most of the front-end work and the JavaScript work that is being done, uh, the, it's really all about SBAs at this point in time. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you are looking for just job security or like having a very high relevancy in 2000, 2019 in terms of JavaScript, I will tell you that React is probably the best choice followed by Angular, one of these two. And then if we flip it and we say that, all right, you just want to make a lot of money, like you don't need job security per se, but you need, you want to make, have a high salary, then being an, a specialist in technology that is less relevant today, as such as say jQuery or Prototype.js or one of these older libraries from back in the day, that is going to be a better, is going to be probably a fairly good bet where company or companies who where likely have a lot of money and have been around for quite a while, haven't really kept up with things and now they need people like right, right now that they are, have a hard time to find. It's very similar to how Fortran developers can make a lot of money simply because there's almost nobody who knows it anymore or COBOL developers. So that's going to be my answer. Have a great day.